And new at 10, an extremely disturbing story out of spring tonight. It involves bestiality, possession of child pornography, and indecency with a child by exposure. This is KPRC 2 News at 10. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. The Montgomery County Precinct 3 Constable's Office says the husband even committed some of his crimes inside of a busy supermarket. And that is where we find our Devin Clark tonight joining us to break down the disturbing details. The charges stem from allegations that many would find appalling. Officials say some of those crimes happened within the confines of the suspect's home, but it wasn't until the husband brought his perversions here to this HEB that this all came to light. Meet the Kings. This spring couple now looking at prison time, charged with felonies after investigators say they discovered the two had been engaging in lewd and illegal acts. It all starts here at this HEB on Rayford Road, where officials with the Montgomery County Precinct 3 Constable's Office say they were dispatched back on March 13. They say William King was following kids around inside the supermarket as he exposed and touched his genitals. During the course of the investigation, officials say they seized William King's phone and found not only child pornography, but also evidence of bestiality involving his wife. They say they found a video of Jolie King having sex with the couple's great Dane dog. Today, they were both arrested at their home in the Harmony subdivision nearby. Officials say they were not only able to rescue that abused Great Dane, but also two other dogs from the couple's home and say that they've prevented them from further sexual exploitation. Now, at last check, the couple was still inside of the Montgomery County Jail. Jolie King charged with bestiality and William King charged with indecency with a child by exposure and possession of child pornography. Officials are asking any other their potential witnesses out there to come forward. Reporting in spring, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.